Teresa, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be creating some faux cyanotype prints. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with cyanotypes, um, they're basically using a type of card or paper that has a chemical on it that reacts to sunlight and dyes a, a blue colour once, um, once exposed to sunlight. Quite often cyanotype prints are depicting um, natural botanical um, items such as leaves and things like that. And I'm going to use the gel plate today to create something similar, um, but using acrylic paint on a gel plate rather than using cyanotype chemicals on paper. Once I've done the printing, I'm going to show you how you can just finish um, your projects off by you know creating some cards, tags, framed prints. All very, very simple um, to do and needs minimal supplies. So if you don't have many um, supplies, this one's one for you. I have done other prints um, using leaves before. And during this video, I will link to a previous video that I did if you want to go back and have a look at that one. But I'm going to clear these out of the way and get on with showing you today's process. Today, we're going to be working with minimal supplies. Um, I've got my gel plate here. This is my five inch by seven inch Jelly Arts gel plate. I've got a brayer. Today I'm using the Speedball Soft Rubber Brayer. Um, quite often use the Ranger Red one. It makes no difference which one you use. And in, in keeping with the uh, cyanotype, I'm going to be using cyan blue paint. I'm using the Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylic in Primary Cyan. I mean, it doesn't have to be that specific blue of paint you know if you're using a different brand this true blue here is a very similar color um you don't even have to do it blue but obviously if you want to make a, a faux cyanotype it would be a blue print i've got some um smooth white card this is just uh, about a sort of 250 gsm smooth white um card i've also got some book pages this is an old Shakespeare um, book and a dictionary. I'm going to do some printing on that as well, just for a change. And I have a selection of leaves from the garden. I've got a couple here that are off a grapevine, a couple of fronds of fern, and a couple of sprays from um, some acer bushes in the garden as well. Apart from that, um, I've got a scrap of paper to the side for cleaning any excess paint off my brayer. I've got some kitchen paper in case I need to clean up. And I've got some masking tape that I'm going to be using to attach my paper so that I can do a double print in exactly the same place. So I'm just going to move my leaves temporarily out of the way. And I'm going to begin by applying a layer of blue paint to the gel plate. Now, if you wanted to do um, a two-tone print, you can begin by putting a different color of paint on the plate. Um, this is just gonna be blue and white like a traditional cyanotype would be. I will pop a link up in the corner to other leaf print um, videos that I've done where I've used two different colors. But as I say, I want this to look like a faux cyanotype, so that would just be in blue and white. So applying a nice even coat of the cyan blue. I'm going to take one of my leaves and to begin with, I'm going to use one of these fern fronds and I'm going to place my leaves so that all the veining detail is down on the plate and this will help give some additional texture to our print. So I'm going to pop that pretty much in the middle. I'm going to take my piece of smooth white cardstock Just pop that lightly on the top. Then gonna press that down and holding it in place, just going to use some masking tape just to create a hinge at one end here so that when I lift it off, I can replace it back down in exactly the same place. 
I'm going to press firmly all over. Carefully peel that back and keeping this still taped down, lift my leaf off and then replace the paper back down again to transfer the detail that was from underneath where the, the leaf was. And there we have our faux cyanotype print of our leaf front. Now we need to clean off the remains of this print before we do another one, um, just so that we can, we don't want to contaminate the print with any detail from another leaf. So just going to squirt some water on there and clean this off. And then we can go on to create a second print in exactly the same way. I went by your house, what a big mistake. Before a while I thought that I wouldn't break. Ooh. I need something else to clear my head. Someone to tell me how to live instead. Just open your eyes and take my advice. Stop the dice and just compromise it's the chance of your life selection of prints we just need to take off the masking tape and just give them a while to dry they, I mean it's pretty thin coats of paint so they never take too long and then we can think about converting these into a finished project so I'm going to go away clear away my plate and paint trim these down and show you how you can um, make these into cards or into a nice little bit of wall art um, various things like that and i'll be back with the finished projects and here are the finished projects that i've created using these prints i've taken a couple of them and popped them inside these glass um, frames and this is the one that was done on the Shakespeare page. Just trimmed that down and fitted it in the frame and left that as it is. Apologies for the reflection from the ring light above. But, you know, that hanging on the wall is just going to look so pretty. You don't really need to do anything else to it. This one I trimmed down and popped in the frame. I added one of the Tim Holtz Chit Chat stickers to it. Um, that was all that was needed to be done there. I've created a tag from this one, just die cut out a tag, added some silk um, cord at the top, 
And again, little chit chat sticker mounted onto some black cord and held in place with staples. And the other prints I created um, cards with. So here I die cut um, my print into a circle, mounted it on a five inch square card, just doodled around the edge with a black pen and stamped a sentiment on there. The sentiment, if you're interested, is from this Gina K Designs and Hero Arts collaboration set, which is uh, called Friendship Blooms. I also used another stamp from that set on this card here. I used this quote here that says, let us be grateful to the people who make us happy for they are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. So just stamped that directly onto the print, matted it onto a little bit of uh, gold colored card and onto a card blank. And the final card was this one here that was the print was stamped on dictionary page. I just tore round um, the leaf print, matted that onto some black card and onto a card blank. And again, added a little chip chat sticker in the corner there to finish off. Now, as always, you can make far more complicated cards, projects, things like that if you want to. But I do appreciate that a lot of uh, my subscribers who enjoy the printing and not necessarily card makers, which is why I always try and keep these projects fairly simple. Um, you may not have lots and lots of products. So, you know, most of us could find a little sentiment or print off a sentiment on using um, a computer. We may have a, a couple of stamps with sentiments on. So all easy projects for you to complete with minimal supplies. The frames, I'm glad I found a use for these. I picked these up um, quite a while ago now, probably well over 12 months ago um, in a sale. I thought they were going to be really pretty to hang on the wall and they've just been sat in a drawer. So really grateful that I've, I've found something to pop in those now and make use of them. And as always, hope that this has given you some suggestions on what to do with prints. You may have other prints, but you can use them in the same way that I've done today in these finished projects. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again soon. Bye. I went by your house, what a big mistake.